Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can access the Shape Dynamics settings by clicking the button of the same name at the left side of the brushes panel, right here. Now generally speaking, the term Shape Dynamics is used to refer to the settings that control the variance of brush marks within a stroke. If you click the checkbox next to the Shape Dynamics button, right here, you may find that you've accidentally disabled the options on the screen to the right. So you want to make sure that that checkbox next to the button is checked in order to access these settings. With this and other brush settings, you can lock or unlock the setting by clicking on the toggle lock button to the right of the setting name, right there. And this locks this setting in place and prevents it from changing when making other selections. First, you can set the size jitter of the brush right up here at the top. Now the term jitter refers to the randomness of the dynamic elements in a brush stroke. If you have 0% jitter, the stroke will not change over the course of a stroke. If you specify 100% jitter, then you maximize the randomness of the stroke. You can either use the slider that's provided or you can set a value using the text box right here. And you'll see as you grab the slider and slide it back and forth, down here in the preview area, you'll see what that does to our brush stroke. Next we have the control section right here, this drop down. And in the control section you can specify how you wish to control the size of the brush marks. Many of the options in the control drop-down menu are dependent upon having a pressure-sensitive digitizing tablet that Photoshop can use. If you select a pen option that requires such a device and you don't have one in use, Photoshop will display an exclamation mark next to that setting, as we see right here. You use the minimum diameter slider located right here or the text box that's provided right next to it, right there, to specify the minimum percentage of the brush tip diameter by which the brush marks can scale when size jitter or size control is enabled. Like that. You can use the tilt scale below that to set the scale factor applied to the height of the brush prior to rotation when the control is set to pen tilt. So if we select pen tilt, for example, we can then use that slider to change that. In the angle jitter section, below that, you can set how the angle of the brush marks in a stroke will vary. You can use the slider or type a percentage into the text box, just like all the other settings, to control the jitter of the brush angle in this section. You'll see what that does as you change it. Now in the control section just below that, you can specify how you wish to control the size of the brush marks right here. In the roundness jitter section, the slider right here, you can use the slider or the text box to determine how the roundness of the brush will vary in a brush stroke. Right there. And in the minimum roundness section, which is only applicable if you set the roundness jitter or control, you can enter a number or use the slider to set a percentage indicating the ratio between the brush's short and long axes. Now note that you can also check or uncheck the checkboxes to flip X jitter or flip Y jitter to flip the horizontal and vertical jitter settings if desired down here. So you have quite a bit of control here and that's how you use shape dynamics to change the variations in the brush strokes that you're using. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.